best of our selection tools are the quick selection tools. These are ways of, of quickly grabbing or drawing or working with a selection. It does a lot of the work for you by looking for edges. And it does that by working with a tolerance down here. The higher the tolerance, the, the looser it's going to be. The smaller the tolerance, the more picky it's going to be. So if I bring this way down to 8 and use the magic wand to click in here, it's going to grab anything which is really close to that spot. And it's going to grab anything which is actually touching that spot as well. So it has to be connected. That's the contiguous right down here. Let's just deselect that. And if I click over here, maybe right there, a little, little bigger, but see it's a real small area. And let's just deselect. If I raise that tolerance, the default is 32, so there, there's 34. You can, again, type in a number here as well if you want to. Just click on that and type in your number. With 32, you see it grabs a little more of the area in there. Now it's contiguous, so it's only getting areas that are actually touching, as you can see. If I unselect that, and let's just deselect, click on the same thing, it's then going to select anything which is that same color, but any place on the image, it doesn't have to actually be touching the same spot. So if you want to get the color anywhere it is, uncheck that. If you want it to only be areas that are touching, then click on con Contiguous. Okay, let's just deselect that. Now, again, with the tolerance, the higher the tolerance, the more lenient the selection will be. So things like this, there's a real obvious difference between the sky and the image. This is a great tool. It'll actually come in here and, and you can then do this kind of a an easy selection. This, by the way, is an easy way if you want to change a sky and put a different sky in up here. And I'll demonstrate that a little later on using this picture. But this is the basic idea. You just make a selection and then replace what's inside of that selection with something else. So let's just deselect that. So Magic Wand is pretty straightforward. Same options in here. New selection, add to, subtract from, or intersect on the selection and you can refine the edge of your tolerance just like you could refine the edge of a feathered edge. The sample all layers means if you have your image on several layers it will then look at all of those layers for that same sampling. Okay, over here we have the quick select. Notice this has a brush and a brush size in here. You can see there's the brush size. On this if I'm brushing into an area it then makes that selection based on where I'm brushing into. So it's kind of like using the magic wand, but it doesn't grab everything right away. It just stays where I'm brushing. And it's sampling anything that I'm moving over. So it's a little bit better, a little better on the tolerance because it's going to be looking at a variety of things as I'm moving across and finding anything in there. So it kind of automatically takes care of the tolerance level because I'm brushing into an area and, and getting several different values. So that's the quick select option. Let's just deselect that one. Next over we have the selection brush. And again I can choose a size in here and a hardness you know, or softness. I can also choose different brushes if I want to. And I can choose a selection or a mask. So in here I'll just come in and paint in a selection. So there's that selection. Notice it's on Add right now, and I can paint in more selections. So if you like to paint, and if you feel comfortable doing painting, then you can use this tool to make selections by painting into an area. We'll deselect that. And the final option down here is the Refine Selection Brush. And this allows you to come in and really control the, control the edge. That's how large that is. I'm going to bring that down a lot. There we go. Let's just come in here. And you can see my target area in there. That's that center section. And then the outer area is where it's actually drawing the selection. This is kind of working like a combination of the brush selection tool and the magic wand or the quick selection tool. So it's going to try to find where that edge is, where the difference is on that edge, and draw that selection for you based upon that bullseye 
mark. So the dark area inside there, that's where it's going to be using that for the selection. You know, if it finds a difference inside that gray area, it's going to use that difference as the edge of that selection. And you can adjust the size and the snap strength on it as you, you saw us handling that. Now in here, once we have that, you can push a selection. You can also smooth a selection out. If I click on push, I can actually kind of you know push this selection around, be a little, you kind of force that selection in. Or we can smooth the selection out. It just kind of kind of smooths out any rough edges. You can see right there, I'm just smoothing the edge of that selection up there. So interesting little tool, refine selection brush. And again, you can use this in conjunction with any of your other tools. So you can use this one to modify the edge of a selection which you made with a different tool, for instance. So there you go. That is the different selection tools. One I use the most in here is the magic wand. So I'll just leave that one as my default tool. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.